this engine is still in its mock-up. The mock-up is when you build an engine kind of preliminarily. You start the assembly and you check all the clearances, you check everything to make sure that everything is going to work. All the measurements are taken and then that way if adjustments need to be made in the final machine process you can do that. One of the clearances that I like to check on a performance build in particular is the piston to cylinder deck clearance. That deck clearance is an indication of where the piston is at in relation to the deck. Now most factory engines the piston will be slightly below the deck surface. I prefer in a situation like this to have the piston even with the deck surface. That's what we call zero deck. So in order to achieve zero deck I need to know where the piston is now in relation to the deck surface so that I know how much needs to be milled off of this surface. So to begin with I want to find top dead center on this particular cylinder. So I'm going to rotate the engine over until my dial indicator gauge stops sweeping. Once it stops sweeping, I'll know that the piston is sitting at top dead center. And it looks like it's right about there. Oh, just went past it. There we go. So now the piston's at top dead center and it is slightly below the deck surface. I can feel that. There's a couple different methods of checking that deck clearance. I like to use a straight edge. Lay the straight edge along the top of the cylinder block and directly above the wrist pin of the piston. And then I'll use some feeler gauges underneath the straight edge and check the clearance between the top of the piston and the straight edge. Now this one looks to me like it's probably somewhere between 10 and 15 thousandths of an inch down. So I'm going to start with the 10 thousandths feeler gauge. take that feeler gauge, it slides between the piston and the straight edge pretty easily. So I'm going to jump up to 12 thousandths feeler gauge now. The 12 thousandths feeler gauge is actually not able to get between the piston and the straight edge. So I'll go back to an 11 thousandths gauge and it slides between there. So the deck clearance is somewhere between 11 and 12 thousandths of an inch. And what I will do is I'll just have this deck probably milled 11 thousandths. An alternate method of checking that deck clearance is with a caliper. Now you can use a digital caliper like this or you can use a standard caliper, whichever your preference is. I like a digital caliper just because it's reasonably quick. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my caliper and zero it. Then I'm going to adjust the caliper past the reading that I know that I've got. So there I'm showing about oh, 73 thousandths of an inch and that puts the depth part of the caliper below the bottom of the caliper. Now I'm going to take my caliper and lay it where the depth gauge is on top of the piston and the body of the caliper is on the deck. And I'll take the measurement. In this case it's showing me about 11.5 to 12 thousandths and that's pretty much right in line with what I had with the straight edge. Now do the same thing and this time I'm going to push on the opposite side of the piston and see if piston rocking in the bore is going to appreciably affect the reading that I've got. And in this case 
Nope, that's not a good reading. Let's try that again. In the mean, while I'm pushing down on the piston, I also want to watch my dial indicator and make sure that it doesn't move. So, okay, so there we go. So when I push on the opposite side of the piston, I'm showing nine thousandths of an inch clearance. I'll do the same thing here. What I'm doing is just rocking this piston in the bore. And this direction is showing me about ten thousandths clearance. So in order to accommodate that little bit of movement in the bore, instead of taking eleven thousandths off of this, I'll probably go ahead and take ten thousandths off of it. That should give me the slight amount of clearance I need for that piston to rock and also give me good cylinder head clearance once the gasket's in place. So that's it. That's a couple of different methods for checking your piston deck clearance.